Hello, hello, my friends. This is your faithful friend, Sandra Graves. And today I wanted to do something a little different. What I was doing is that I was going through some of my old videos and I found a video that I, it actually made me laugh a little bit. And um, I wanted to share that video with you. It was very interesting. It is about potential, claiming your potential. And you must say, Sandra, how can we claim our potential? Well, claiming our potential is something I'm going to share with you when, after I complete um, sharing this video with you. So let me play this and then um, I hope you enjoy it. What I wanted. So then everybody started telling me that I was ugly. Honey, do you see this? So, my mom took me from Panama to the United States, and I didn't want to be here. I didn't want to. I hated my mom. I hated my life. I hated my family. I hated you if you were there. I hated everything. I hated life. But, I got to the United States, and somebody said, You're beautiful. The big boom boom, you know? I didn't have that. I was flat, skinny, straight, and I come over here and everybody think I'm it. <laughs> I'm it, so I started looking in the mirror, I'm like, woo, I'm it. So I start walking like if I was it. And if you had seen me, you would have thought, she is it. <laughs> I was in it because I was still hurting it, yeah. which is me. Yeah. So I got modeling, I traveled in limousines, and I did great things, but I still wasn't happy. Yeah. So I was successful as a model, but I failed as a person because I was not living my full potential. Yeah. I didn't know what it was to claim my potential. I didn't know that. So I want you to tell your neighbor, look around and tell your neighbor, claim your potential. Do it again, like if you believe it, because I didn't hear that. Claim your potential. I learned that I needed to claim my potential. Because I do. And you know what? I had to come to another country just to understand that I had potential. I had to come to another country just to be able to allow myself to be me. I was always trying to be someone else, to please someone else, to look like someone else. And I was not being happy until actually I came to this country and I was told that what I was mattered. And that was special enough and that is how you claim your potential is allowing yourself to be yourself is accepting yourself you know god created all of us into what we are we can always continue to strive to be better but never never try to be someone else it is so much work to try to be someone else believe me i tried it i tried to be everything else that i wasn't until i decided I was going to accept me, crazy me, loud me, obnoxious me, oh my goodness, once I did that, I was so happy. And I'm tr still transitioning into be a better me, but not a me that the world want me to be, not a me that others think I should be, but a me that is comfortable with me, a me that God wants me to be, a me that God had already blessed me to be. And you can do the same but you have to be comfortable with you it doesn't matter who you are overweight skinny dark light tall short 
Whatever talent you have, it is yours. Whatever you have, it is yours. And when you embrace that, it is so much powerful. It doesn't no longer become a potential. It becomes who you are, your skills, your talent, your persona, your purpose. But you must get to a, pra a place where you allow yourself to be you. Allow yourself to be you. Potential is um, something that that is in you, that it can get out of you, that it can be great in you. But claiming your potential is allowing that something that is there to get out and to live it, to embrace it, to take over. You know, I when I was younger, I was always told that I talked too much. Oh, it used to irritate me. I talk too much. Guess what? I'm still talking too much. And until I didn't embrace that I talk too much, I was not happy with myself because I would say something and then I would be disappointed about what I said. That's who I am. I'm a bold person and I love to talk. And now I use it to motivate you, to inspire you, to challenge you to become a better you. That's why I use it. What potential do you have and how can you use it to do better? You have great potential, but you have to embrace it. And until you don't embrace it, it's not yours. So many people, sports, football, singing, acting, potential doctors, potential whatever, they always thought, I want to be this, but they never allow themselves to be that. Allow yourself to be that. Allow yourself to be you. Allow yourself to embrace that that is in you and take it out and live it. Allow yourself to live it. That is the message that I wanted to share with you today. I laughed so much when I saw this video and you can see that I have hair in that video. So I am embracing my full potential spiritually emotionally and in the exterior as well so anyway i wanted to share that with you and don't forget that we are here every thursday is god allow at in vivo life at 7 p.m central standard time um and you if you want to be a guest on our program i invite you to do so so send us an email to info at in vivo associate.com and what i'm going to do i am going to play this and then I am going to say bye-bye. So I'm going to play this and then we're going to disconnect. Mm -hmm.